Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2006 Volkswagen Jetta diesel. The problem we have with it is the oil, uh, oil pan drain plug would not come out. Somebody had over tightened it and you could sit there and spin it and spin it and it would not come out. You could spin it either way, it didn't matter. Uh, the threads are pretty much shucked out on the uh, insert. It's an aluminum pan and there's a steel insert that this screws into and that steel insert, the threads on that were destroyed. Um, so to get this off, to get it out so I could drain the oil, um, what I had to do was use a, I used an impact and I kept working it, working it back and forth. I'd go sideways with a little bit with the impact. But uh, what I also did is I took a small screwdriver and uh, I took a hammer and just drove it in between the pan and the head of that uh, drain plug. And that would give me a little bit of, of leeway to try to grab enough threads to back it out. And what I did is I worked my way from a small screwdriver up to a bigger one. I could get a little bit at a time. And finally, once I got this one in there, the bigger screwdriver, I caught enough threads where I could get it backed out and get the oil drained. So once I got it out, I got looking at the threads, and yeah, they were pretty well all stripped out. And what I did is I measured the outside of this, uh, this metric drain plug. And it measures about 541 thousandths. And what I ended up doing was grabbing a 9 16 by 18 bolt. And this measures about uh, 555 thousandths on the outside right in that neighborhood. So it gives you about 15 thousandths more. Uh, this bolt was a little bit long. So what I ended up doing is I cut it off. I grabbed a, uh, a slicer wheel. And I cut off probably about a quarter of an inch of that uh, bolt to make it about the same length. And when I was done, I took the bolt to uh, belt sander and tapered it so it was basically about the same length in the thread area as the uh, drain plug was. And then what I did from there was take the uh, a tap, which is a 9 16 18 thread tap, and got a nice straight start on that hole in the uh, oil pan and that uh, sleeve, that steel sleeve, that threaded insert. And the threads on the 9 16 bolt are very, very similar. They're almost exact to what the metric threads are in that uh, oil pan. Okay, but they're about 15 thousandths bigger on this 9 16 bolt, so you still got a little bit of meat you can take and get a bite on that insert. So what I did is I run the tap in and re-threaded it, and then I could go ahead and take this 9 16 bolt and screw it in and take it in and out, and it worked fine. Uh, the head's a little bit longer. Uh, it's a little bit bigger in diameter, the head is. Not a whole lot. Uh, it still fits in there. There's kind of a ridge around where that uh, plug goes in, but uh, it fits well and I can get a wrench on it and snug it up good. Now, the thread insert probably isn't quite as robust as it was originally, but uh, it'll save you a whole lot of money from having to replace that oil pan. So this is uh, something that, that uh, oh, the other thing is the washers. Okay, these washers, uh, you can buy these, the ceiling washer, you can buy these at uh, any auto parts store. They usually have an assortment of them. And you can either use this one here as a, a Teflon one, so it's a little softer, handle a lot of heat, but it's a little softer. And uh, there's also copper ones you can get a hold of and fiber ones. So it just kind of depends on what's available to you, but uh, you should be able to find a, a, some type of a gasket to seal up because the ceiling faces on this, it's not actually the threads that are doing the sealing, but this, uh, this gasket. So that kind of gives you some idea of uh, you know, a way to save yourself some money without having to change that oil pan. And I would certainly try it. If you're watching this video, obviously you're having some issues with it. But uh, this worked very well for me and just wanted to, wanted to get this out there for those of you who are having troubles with it. So I want to thank you for watching the video and have a great day. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube page. And I want to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of synthetic lubricants. Uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs, uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis. Full line of synthetics been around since 1972, and you can check those out at www.donsoil.com. Also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities, and that one is fluidcapacity.com. And you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle. You can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those. And have a great day.